Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and today I am going to show you how to make the absolute star of the show for breakfast when I was in Mexico and Southern California and that is huevos rancheros. Now huevos rancheros uh, literally means ranch style eggs or ranchers eggs. Uh, it takes its name from a traditional mid-morning uh, dish amongst rural Mexican farms. And this makes an absolutely brilliant breakfast. It is made up of fried uh, corn or wheat tortillas topped with a, a fiery tomato salsa uh, and fried eggs. So these are the ingredients you're gonna to need to make my style of huevos rancheros. First of all, around about 800 grams of tomatoes, completely up to you what kind. Uh, you're gonna need about half an onion, um, some sweet red pepper, which is not traditional, but I think it adds uh, a different dimension of flavor. Now, chilies, completely up to you how many and the strength, but I definitely would recommend at least one jalapeno, and then it's up to you whether you have a mixture of green or uh, something spicy or red. You're gonna need about four cloves of garlic, and when you're actually serving this up, I would recommend two small corn or wheat tortillas per person and two fried eggs. Okay, so your first job is to peel and half your onion and take about half of your sweet red pepper. Remove the stems from your chilies, however many you're using. Uh, you're gonna peel uh, four cloves of garlic and then take your tomatoes and you just need to very gently remove the pith from each of those, like so. Okay, just like that. And unlike some recipes, um, where people chop all of this finely and then they fry it to make their salsa, we're actually going to start placing all of our ingredients into um, some hot water and we are going to boil this for about 15 minutes, um, but really you'll know it's ready because the tomatoes will start to blister, their skins will start to come away. So in with all the ingredients. There we go, just add it in the garlic and that's ready now to start simmering. That's been about 10 minutes now and you can see the skins are just starting to blister. So I think another five minutes and we'll be ready. And with just a couple minutes left, uh, boiling our vegetables, take a large pan, um, some vegetable oil in the bottom and a clove of garlic which we're going to place in there warm through and infuse the oil with the flavors of the garlic right so now that our ingredients have indeed softened we are going to remove them from the pan place them into a blender don't worry if you take any of the liquid with you in fact i would recommend you try and put aside some of this liquid in case we need to thin that salsa a little bit there we go, and now time to start blending. And there we are, perfect consistency. Right, so our oil has been infused with that garlic. Let's remove that. And then, this is the exciting bit, we are going to take our salsa and we are gonna pour that into this pan. Oh wow, that smells amazing. In it all goes. Wow, that went everywhere. Okay, um, give that a stir. Uh, turn to a low heat, and we're gonna let that simmer away for about maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Right, just a few more minutes to go with that. So a little bit of seasoning with some salt and some pepper. Just a few more minutes, I think, on the hob. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to take another small pan uh, some oil in the bottom ready to fry our tortillas. So that oil has been warmed through and we're ready to start adding our corn or wheat tortillas. Right, you can see that it's starting to brown around the edges, starting to puff up a little bit in the middle. So I think that's probably about time to turn over. Okay, that is ready to come out. That looks gorgeous. Right, and time to fry our eggs. So we want two eggs per person. In they go. And now it's time to assemble. So we're going to take two of our tortillas. Now spoon over our lovely salsa. Our salsa roja. 
Now and then, we're gonna pop on top of those our fried eggs. Sorry, I like crispy buttons on mine, sorry about that. A little bit more of our fiery sauce, just over the top of those. This part is optional, but I like a little bit of coriander over the top of mine, or cilantro, wherever you're from. A little avocado on the side. Some black beans, frijoles negros. And finally, just a little crumble of feta cheese over the top. And there you have it, that is my Huevos Rancheros, ranch style eggs. As always, the proof is in the pudding, so let's get tasting. I didn't even have a chance to taste the first plate because my other half just literally whipped it away. So I've made up another batch. Uh, here goes. That is my new favorite homemade breakfast, without doubt. And whilst I polish that off, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you the next time for the next travel or the next food item. Mmm. It's so good.